Great performance by our guys today. A, a phenomenal performance uh, under a difficult situation, circumstances, as far as, um, you know, have a heart wrenching loss last week and hear the outside noise of what do you have to play for and stuff. And, and uh, um, we met with the guys on Monday, talked about we got a lot to play for. We, got, we, we have the opportunity to play for each other. We have an opportunity to play in the bill and an opportunity to continue to do something pretty special and writing a legacy and finishing the story of the 2023 season. And um, uh, our guys came to play today. And I, I don't know if anybody was worried or questioned about it. Our guys came to play. Uh, we beat a good Baylor team. Baylor uh, does a great job of different things, trick plays, fake things on special. They're always going to fight. They, they were down, whatever, 30 against UCF at, at UCF and found a way to win. They were going to give everything they had to try to win this game. Um, but our guys just kept denying them. And I thought um, offensively, it was great to see uh, Will have another special game, had a number of guys step up for us offensively. Uh, catching the ball, running the ball defensively, uh, we made some plays. Um, you know, we had two uh, defensive touchdowns, which is huge. We have a special teams touchdown, basically, uh, which is huge. And then uh, we had four stops on fourth down, and uh, this is part of what you have to do when you play Baylor. You have to be able to play four downs. And so, you know, I look at it. We had one interception. We got three fumble recoveries, and we had. Four stops on fourth down. You got eight turnovers. It's hard to beat you. Resolve, you know, toughness, character. Um, kids battled through, uh, and I, I, he's playing at such a high level right now. Um, and uh, excited for him as he's you know having a, having a great season and. Um, he and I had had a lot of conversations this week, and and couldn't be more proud of a guy. Um, he knows how much I love him. He knows how I feel about him, and uh, for him to have that record um, says an awful lot about uh, what kind of player he is. Yeah. Cody Stuffelbean. What a big time play. Uh, and, and Stuff's always playing in the rotation. He's always in there. He's always getting as many plays as, as maybe Mott and, and Nate and stuff. But uh, what a great pass rush and um, makes a big time hit at a critical time where we had not really slowed him down yet. And then Dez picks it up and takes it in and scores. Uh, that was a huge play. Uh, and then uh, we, we give up a touchdown on a trick play. Um, that they do a nice job. They they get the trick play and then uh, um, we run a coverage that we typically don't run in the situation and we trap the flat and Keenan Garber makes a big pick and gets it in for a touchdown. Those were two huge things and you know I, to get 59 points, man, and it came from offense, defense, and teams. It looked like you and Will had to share a pretty cool moment there after you set the record. Um, can you tell us what you told them and what? Just how proud I am. Uh, of what he's accomplished and done, um, I'm sure what what we talked about. I don't I don't even know, um, but you know, I, a play that's going to kind of get forgotten about, and I can't remember what the score was. We were I know we were ahead, but it was fourth and eight, and uh, it was about at the 40 yard line, 35 yard line, and we went for it, and that was my way of not only telling him but the offense that. And we believe you here are the keys. Go make a play. And Phillip Brooks is playing at such a high level right now. Phillip is playing really, really good football. And it was great that he had the game that he did last week um, that kind of got overshadowed with the loss. Um, but uh, he keeps battling and keep play keeps playing really well and makes big-time catches. No doubt, and um, he was struggling on offense, and, and we visited uh, late last year, and we flipped him over to defense, played some scout team, and, and um, I don't even know, it was about this time probably, he was just doing some scout team corner stuff and finds himself playing about 15, 20 snaps in a Big 12 championship game uh, after never playing a snap. And uh, then 
he took all the snaps in the spring, took all the snaps in the fall, uh, continuing to get better and better. And uh, it was fun to see him get a big pick and, and score. I didn't think he was going to get caught. Absolutely. Um, uh, we we had a chance to make a play on the on the onside kick, and that's what you're going to get uh, with, with Baylor. They're going to try stuff, and they make a big play. That's Dave's Dave's style. He's going. That's why you go for it on fourth down. That's why you have fake punts and and fake field goals and so forth. Defense ha had a big stop, and I really didn't think they were going to try a 51 or 52 yard field goal into a little bit of a breeze. And we're trying to scream at them that it, we know a fake's coming. Um, and I thought about using the timeout, uh, but um, uh, I. I Keenan had the coverage. It was. It would have been a really good throw and catch, but that was a that was a big play because you're right. It goes. What was it? Thirty five to thirteen. It could go to nineteen or twenty. Depends. They were going to go for two every time too. And then uh, Jake Cook, we saw had come out of the game. Yeah, we don't have any um, preliminary uh, information on, on Jake. Um, you know, Austin Romain came back in and stepped up and did a nice job. And the other guy that came in and we're in that position now to be able to play him is Rex Van Wy. And I think you guys saw uh, Rex Van Wy to say, wow, that kid's long. He's athletic. He's a pretty good football player. We wanted to save his year. And I think this was game two for him that we played. So now we can still play him the next two and have him um, for postseason and, and keep his year uh, of eligibility. So that's going to really help us to be able to play Rex. Yeah, it was it was really good, um, and you know you never really felt like the game was in hand because of how fast and, and their tempo and, and how much you know how many plays they're running. But it was fun to see a lot of guys make plays on special teams, offense, and defense. We had a lot of guys contribute. I was happy for Christian Moore first touchdown he scored. Uh, that was big. I was happy for Avery and Oak getting a connection on a score. Um, had some young guys in the secondary get a chance. Uh, it was fun to play a lot of guys. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> I tell him we're using him, and he's like, okay. And Biebs is happy as heck when I run over the offense and say, we need you for these three plays. So he's, he wants to be up for the Heisman because he's a best, one of the best two-way players. He's not Travis Hunter, but he's one of the best two-way players. So, But um, um, with us not having Damian, it really – we have to. Now, we think we'll get Damian back next week so that, that Beebs will probably be out. How, how improved is your receivers the last few weeks? Yeah, they're getting more comfortable um, and uh, getting better at practice. And we have a number of guys that are, that are in there making plays. So it, it's fun to see us having that much confidence in us in, in throwing the football, too. And, and that's been good. Our protection has been pretty good. These guys did what we thought they did. They were going to blitz the heck out of us. And um, they made some plays blitzing us, and, and we made them pay a few times. I don't know if you scoreboard watch, but uh, you in the race. It's hard to win football games. And I don't know if anybody realizes how hard this is. You think it's easy, Fitz. And I, don't, I, I don't understand that why you don't win them all. But it's really hard to win games, and that's why the the manner of which we've won at home just doesn't happen typically. Um, I, I did see that Texas Tech won, um, and they're a good football team. KU's a good football team, and I just when I was down doing the radio, I saw the score of Oklahoma State and UCF. Everybody saw UCF play. They know that they, they're a really talented team. Um, and that's why uh, I, I don't know how the race will shake out and stuff. We just got to keep playing. And that's all we can do because this is a really good league. It's, it's got parity. It's deep. And if you don't play your best football, you're going to get beat. I noticed that uh, you had Toby Oates and Tommy at defensive end a few times today repping there. How did you like his play? Uh, I liked it. And he's taken more and more reps there in some of our third down stuff because he's a really talented guy there and we're trying to find ways to get him on the field. Um, you know, with us losing backers, we probably won't be able to do that as much because, you know, we're we're running out of those guys. That's good to hear, Glenn. Um, no, but uh, I know our guys were ready to play and that was the one thing that I was hoping, praying, 
counting on, and they were ready to play. They were excited. I could tell this morning, getting rolling, um, to coming out with pregame. And, you know, we took the ball because we wanted to get a lead and get ahead. Didn't last very long. Um, but we, we got the big score, and then we were able to get a couple stops and get the turnovers, and our guys were having a lot of fun. Um, probably what I thought we would do with without the amount of young players we were playing in the secondary that that was going to be some growing pains. Um, trying to figure out what we were in a run game, you know, um, trying to continue to push some of these guys at receiver and tight end. You know, we we lost Garrett Oakley for a good chunk of, of the season, and now he's back healthy. And everybody sees that kid's a, a real factor. So, um, And we're just getting more and more out of a lot of guys, and that tells me they're continuing to develop, they're continuing to get better every day. Kind of a bounce-back game for the offensive line, which is ready to stick to Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, trust me, I think Riles challenged those guys a little bit. He, boy, he, he ran hard, and he's getting better. And we knew that was another one that no different than the secondary, he was going to continue to get better the more snaps he got. Time for one more? Let's yeah. bring – oh. I did not. Joe Hall grabbed him. I didn't realize they, that they removed you. It's like, you know, the targeting, they don't. I saw that they removed him. We'll get a chance to visit with him. And, and um, um, I, I saw some of it unfold. And uh, I know that Khalid's remorseful, and we'll, we'll figure that out. But um, I love Khalid Duke, and I'm always going to go to bat for that kid. All right, thank you. Okay, thanks, everyone. Let's bring Cody Stuffelbean to the stage.